Hi everyone, my name is Maureen. Welcome back to my planet. Today is Saturday and I am bringing you another Way in Day update video. Before we get into that though, I want to announce Hot Girl Summer Challenge. Yes! I finally have a start date for it. What is it? It's just a summer challenge. I know right now, these days, we're working to get, you know, get fit, get that, feel confident in the bikinis and, you know, just get a couple, shed a couple of pounds. And then summer hits and we stop going to meetings and we stop prioritizing our weight loss, our weight loss journey. We get into that vacation mode. That's normal. But, you know, I thought let's do this challenge in order to maybe this year not do that or do that less extreme. So Hot Girl Summer Challenge starts June 1st and ends on August 30th or 31st, however many days are in August. But June, I mean, summer, to me, that's summer. Summer is those three months. I know it actually starts on June, whatever, but you guys want it on the 1st. So it's happening on the 1st. So mark your calendars and I will be making a kickoff video once the time comes. So get ready, get excited. It's going to be, we're going to choose one, a sort of challenge to do for those three months. It can be a different challenge, but I'm also going to be doing like weekly or maybe bi-weekly challenges. Like let's get our hair done. Spoiler alert. So that's going to be real fun. So with that said, I did. So yeah, that's, that's what's happening. And if you want to be a part of that, let me know you're in, in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe. And while you're at it, like this video. So with that said, I did go to my meeting today. There were some tears at my meeting. Not by me, but by another girl. I can't really give the, the details because again, that's not my place to share this. But you know, this journey, it's not easy. It is hard. There are going to be tears. Do I wish there weren't? Yes. Will you have tears? I sincerely hope not. But yeah, I mean, it's normal. I feel it's normal to cry during this journey. It is extremely emotional. It's very mental. And it really, it really gets to the core of you and shows what you're made of. There's going to be tears. There's going to be tears. There's going to be times where you completely break down and start crying. I've done that before. Because it is just so much at times. But you know what? We power through that. And we're here as a community. So I gave her a hug. And you know what? Hugs to you. If you're in that boat, hugs to you. But we do not stop. We have tears. We let them flow. We feel frustrated. We, are, we allow ourselves to feel these emotions. But we do not stop. We keep going. So I wanted to share that. And now um my way in I did not share that with you so how did I do this week this week again this journey never stops there's a new thing happening every week for me I'm really struggling with weekends these days like last weekend we had we had fairs at my mosque and they had halal food halal tacos where else are you gonna get that and they had knafe knafe however you say it it was really good I do not regret eating that at all I don't regret anything but I didn't get right back on track on Sunday Sunday didn't really I was really flimsy with tracking and then on Wednesday again I ate all the sweets and on Thursday I had in and out but and I asked them for like half the serving of fries I was like can I just get half a serving I'll pay for the whole thing but I just want half and they filled it up anyways and I was like oh like they're not why did i get fries they're not even worth it i don't like it out fries people will say oh you gotta get them animal style uh no fries that so you have to put something on in order for them to be good not good so that's that's just that's just how it was but regardless oh and i do have that monthly visitor but with that said today i got on the scale and i was down 0.2 yes i i'm totally okay with this totally down with the 0.2 loss that's fine because those points they add up they add up so you know at least it wasn't a point two gain so i'm happy with that was i hoping for more duh obviously always but you know what i'm not gonna knock it i'll take it i'll take it i will take this win for what it is and now let me talk about the topic because again i'm really into this topic and it was on exercise debunking this month's theme is debunking weight loss myths so today's myth was exercise and it was things like, he asked us like, so what are some things around exercise or activity that you guys hear? And people were saying things like, oh, you have to wake up at 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning in order to go and exercise. 
absolutely not. I'm not doing that. And you don't have to either. Don't make people don't just because someone on social media does that doesn't mean you need to do that. If that's not you, if that's not going to work for you and your lifestyle, it's not going to work for me and my lifestyle. Other myths are just like, what were some other myths? Oh, that we have to get like 10,000 steps in order to see any sort of results. That's not true. You don't, we act like there's a certain number or a certain place or a certain time that you need to do something to see some results. That's not true at all. You do what works for you for your lifestyle. It's a lifestyle change. That doesn't mean getting up at 4 a.m. That means fitting in a walk or a workout sometime during the day. And you don't have to do workouts that you absolutely hate. Do something you enjoy doing and you don't have to do it for a long time either. Some other tips he gave were to park far away in the parking lot and walk towards your destination. And studies actually show that if you do that, you put better things into your cart. And also return the cart to its corral. Yeah, we were raised better. We weren't, our mom was raised us better than to just leave the cart wherever willy nilly. It's gonna take, I timed it, it take less than a minute to return the cart from where it came from. Let's, let's start doing that. And so he also talked about that. What were some other things? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, so return the cart. And also, uh, I totally forgot what it was, all he said. But those are some tips. And honestly, you don't need, oh, also do 10 minutes at the gym. If that's all you can do, that's fine. That's totally great. Go walking during your, during your lunch. Go walking during your break time. We act like we need to do, we need to go hard and go for a long time in order to see any results. That's not true. Do three minutes. If that's all you have, just do three minutes. Turn on Leslie Sansone on YouTube. Turn on, I like Grow With Joe. I really like Grow With Joe. I suggest you guys check her out and she does a lot of dancing. If you don't want to dance, you can just walk in place. She suggests that too. Go at your own pace, at your own level. You need to build up. Like for me, now I can lift really heavy weights, but I did not get there overnight. When I first started exercising a couple years ago, even three pound weights were like so heavy and such a pain to lift and i couldn't do it but now they're like nothing to me and you have to but you have to gradually build to get to that level and so we also give ourselves a lot of excuses and we can't let ourselves off the hook this goes back again to last week talking kindly to yourself but we also give ourselves a lot of excuses we can't do that anymore we can we give ourselves excuses like oh i can't park far away because i don't have time Actually, it takes less time. If you take the first spot you find and you walk to your destination, it takes a lot less time than circling five minutes trying to find the closest spot in LA Fitness. You know what I'm saying? So park far away, walk to your destination. Don't give yourself that excuse. Oh, the weather's bad. Okay, if the weather's bad or you have someone in the car with you, then don't do it. But that's just a sometimes thing, a sometimes rare occasion thing. Do it most of the time. Don't give yourself any excuses. Um, so, and he really brought this home. Like, if you can do this and this, why aren't you? Why aren't you? We're just letting ourselves off the hook. Why aren't you doing this and this and this? If you can do this and this and this excuses excuses and i'm like you know what that's true so yeah this week when it comes to exercise i'm gonna try and stay on plan oh i'm going to the fair today the la county fair it's gonna be so much fun but i'm really stressing about that like what do i eat i go with my friend and i try usually not to make it about food i make it about the animals the exhibits and stuff and i'm usually fairly good so this week I, I'm, I'm hoping to be too as well um I want to eat one thing. There were ramen burritos the last time. They were so good. So I'm going to try to get the ramen burritos if they're still there or something good. A corn and one treat. And that's it. That's like my cap. I'm having those three things. If I'm hungry later, maybe I'll have like potatoes or something. I don't know. But I'm going to try and not go too overboard and make the fair something more about food. Companionship. I don't see this girl often, so... 
maybe that but yeah that's how my week went now it's your turn let me know in the comments below how did your week go i love hearing from you guys and i hope you guys are excited for hot girl summer challenge it's happening so i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye